What's up boys and girls? It's teacher Devin here today and for the month of June we are talking all about joy. But before we get into that, I have some good news. It is time for our brand new memory verse. Let's check it out. What's up boys and girls? It's Cowabunga Camille here today and you know what? I'm just so excited to be here. I feel the joy of the Lord so present and I'm so grateful for all the amazing things that he's doing. So I decided to do the memory verse with y'all today. How this is going to go is I need you guys to repeat me exactly the way that I do it. Okay? So the words, hand motion, everything. I need you guys to repeat me. Sounds good? Sounds good. But I need you guys to hop on your buggies. Get on those buggies. You on your buggy. You on your buggy. All the way back there. Yeah, you. You need to be on your buggy. Hop on your buggies, and we're gonna go. Proverbs! Um. I actually didn't hear you guys at all. I'm gonna give you one more shot, and we're gonna do it all together, okay? Ready? Here we go. Proverbs 17 22. Oh, that's gone out of there. But we're gonna go a cheerful heart. You make a little heart with your hand. Heart makes you, like you're hitting it with the hammer, makes you strong. Show those muscles. Oosh, oosh, oosh. But, tell your neighbor, but, but, a broken, break it in half, spirit. <gasps> like you're a dried up fruit, you gotta suck it, you gotta go, dries you up. Here we go, Proverbs 17, 22. <gasps> Boys and girls, that was so good. Thanks for doing the memory verse with me today. Don't forget that memory verse. And also, don't forget to be joyful for all the amazing things that God is doing in your life. Woo! And now, I gotta go get that boogie. Peace! What's up boys and girls? It's teacher Devin here today. Nice to see you again. And it is now June. Isn't that crazy? The summer is here. It's starting to get hot. But you know what? It's okay because today we have a brand new lesson and a brand new word for the month and it is joy. Now, what exactly is joy? Well, joy is like another level of happiness. Have you ever won like a championship in a game? It's that feeling. Maybe you got a good grade on a test. It's that feeling of pure bliss. And today, we're gonna to be talking about a man who had a lot of joy. Today's story starts off with a man named Jesus who is talking with a crowd of people. In the crowd of people, there are some people who've done some bad things. Maybe they cheated, stole something, lied about something. And there's another crowd of people who are the religious leaders. And the religious leaders didn't like how the bad people were around Jesus. And so they asked Jesus, why should bad people be around such a perfect man? And Jesus responds with a story. The story starts off with a man who had a hundred sheep. And one day, one of the sheep goes missing. Now, you may think that because the man already has 99 sheep, that that one sheep is nothing. But instead, the man goes searching far and wide just for this one sheep. And eventually, the man finds the sheep, and he is joyful because of it. He's so joyful that he comes back home with the sheep finds his friends and family and tells them to celebrate with him. And that's the end of that story. Now, you might be a little confused on how that even involves the religious leaders or the bad people or Jesus. Well, just like the lost sheep in today's story, God can also rescue you in those times when you are lost. Now, sometimes we're gonna mess up. We're gonna make a mistake because we're not perfect. But God is always gonna be there for us to help us. Because of Jesus, we can have a relationship with God. And that's something to celebrate about. The bottom line of today, boys and girls, is that we can have joy because of Jesus. Boys and girls, if you wanna have more joy in your life, all we gotta do are ABCs. A, accept Jesus into our heart. B, believe that he died on the cross for us. And C, confess our sins. Tell him the bad things that we've done wrong. That way we can help avoid them in the future. 
If you're ready, go ahead and bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for all that you do. I accept you into my heart, and I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. I will be with you, and I will live for you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, we are celebrating, and we are even more joyful than ever. Boys and girls, unfortunately, I have to go. But it's okay, because we got to have joy. I'll see you next time. Peace.